Good morning, good afternoon, good night, everyone. I'm the one guy today. I'm gonna turn my FOV down all the way to 70. This looks disgusting. So I came up with the idea for this video while I was recording the Sammy Green thing. Um, it was a bit of fun. I realized that 72, which is what I think he uses, isn't the worst thing on the planet. Although I did hate it quite a bit, it was actually manageable. Okay. Can I reach that block? I thought I could reach that block. So, yeah. It's just, it just feels so weird and unnatural to play like this. Did I get the bed? Yes. I can, I just, it just feels so zoomed in. And that's not what I like. So I'm normally a Quake Pro kind of guy. I've pretty much always been a Quake Pro. Like ever since there was an option to play in Quake Pro, I think I've been using Quake Pro. So, playing at 70 just feels horrible for me. I, I just... I don't know if it's manageable. But bridging bridging feels weird. I, I feel like bridging is going to be a lot easier when playing like this, but I'm not really sure. I know that a lot of my reflexes, like when I'm trying to build to block someone off on a bridge, they're just not very good. They, they're not as sharp as they could be, but I think that's just the cost I have to pay. I'm actually feeling... Oh, it's, it's just... It's just so zoomed in. I feel like I'm using the Optifine zoom all to- Wait, what would the Optifine zoom look like? Okay, it's like the same. I just attacked green. Why are there three teams on one bed? This is- This is pretty insane. I'm gonna get the final there. No. And the bed. And then just run a little bit. Well, that was horrifying. I just stole a bunch of kills. And there we go. So I feel like playing like this- actually isn't really bad at all. It lets me focus more on what's directly in front of me. I feel like 70 is way too low though for me. I'll probably go up to 80. Actually, yeah, we can try 80 next round. That might be a good idea. Right, this person has leather, so it should be good. Yeah, aiming, aiming is definitely, is, is just definitely a lot easier to do. You have some nice Libby Mod cosmetics, but it's in my bed. So I think it's actually worth trying turning your FOV down. Doesn't matter, like, it, like regardless of how experienced you are at the game, I think it could be a good idea. You're gonna run? Okay. Okay, gapples as soon as possible. Alright, come on. Let the low FOV win for me. Yay. Okay, so this round I'm gonna turn it up to. Let's say 80. That sounds like a good savant. This feels a lot less claustrophobic, which is nice. I feel like I'm no longer tunnel visioned, but it just feels really unnatural. Like, I know that I've been trying 95 over the last uh, couple of days for the, for the fun of it, but this really messes up with my um, muscle memory. Ooh. Yikes. Yeah, I was, I was about to say that I felt more confident with bridging, and I think that's the lie now. Nope. Um, I don't think Blue's very confident with bri bridging. That was, that was a strange, strange, strange alteration. So, look, buying a stone sword and rushing, it works. It works. It really does. Oh, you're, you are a laggy player. Okay, that was... That made me feel uncomfortable. Now, is... is Can I do a fancy bridge here? Yes, I can. Yes, I definitely can. This FOV might actually be really good. That was... That was a very good moonwalk bridge. So, yes, I made a mistake just then and I died. Because I fell in the fire on accident. Because I was not paying attention. But... This FOV might actually be really good for... Like bridging, like god bridging and stuff. I'm, I'm gonna try god bridging in a minute, but wow, that that's probably the best moonwalk I've done recently. Also, what's this? A video title idea? I was just gonna say trying different FOVs, but this might actually be. I might be onto something here. Now, I'm not a very confident god bridger yet, so I'm not really sure how well how well this will go overall, but we can, I can hope for the best.
It's a shame that they didn't die just then. Nope. That was... I should not have done a practice go bridge. That was a deeply regretted decision. So I'm suffering from a slight problem called reverse reach, which is where I hit someone, right? But then it's almost as if I didn't. It's, it's not a problem. It's just a little thing that I always complain about. Um, what basically happens is that on my screen, I think that they're in range, but then on their screen, I'm not. It's probably, it's honestly probably a ping thing, but who knows? All I know is that it's very annoying. And I lost my bed because of it. So, just like a normal Bed Wars player, I shall blow fireballs. Alright, is God, let's see if God bridging is an option. What can I pull off? Hey, that was cool. I hit my, hit, hit myself on a thing, but it happens. You deflected the fireball. Oh, oh, you, you're a player with good ping, aren't you? I honestly hate fire. It's the worst. You know what? I'm not gonna rush him. I'm not gonna rush them. I mean, I need I need to play this smart. I need, I need to be smart here. I, I can't try and flex my bridging abilities or my lack of bridging abilities. I need to I need to be a good player. So what I was saying with the fireballs before though, is that as an Australian player, I cannot deflect fireballs whatsoever. It's, it's just sad. I, I just can't do it. I, I don't know why. I think, oh, I do know why it's, it's because of ping, but I just don't understand why it really works that way. Like I, I can really consistently do fireballs in 1.8. In other versions, not so much, because it's just more difficult. What should I do here? I could try and KB stick them. Yeah, I can. That was actually a smart option. And I think they're trying Axe PvP as well, which is an interesting thing to do. I really, I really didn't need to upgrade my pickaxe. All I need is... All I need is one cheeky kill. I can probably fireball jump on them. I'm not sure though. Okay, okay, this is this, this is gonna look cool, or I'm gonna die. It it looked cool. It looked cool. Oh, I'm so proud of that. I'm so proud of that. That was amazing. My heart is pumping right now because I didn't, I thought that was going to go really badly until I did it. And like, after I was in there, I was like, I can do this. And you know, I'm so proud of that. I'm going to do some really sick editing and ready right now, bang on the screen right now is going to be, you know, like a slow-mo replay mod third person thing on the screen. There you go. That was pretty sick. You got you got, you got to agree. All right, next round. I'm gonna keep the FOV, um, 80, just 80, because I think I'm actually, I think, oh my gosh, what? Oh, I, no, no, no. Well. Um, there goes my 15 win streak. And they, and they didn't L. Did I get targeted? Why, why are people that bad? Just... <sighs> what is the point of playing like this? Like, I understand people who closet cheat. Because I know that they just want to have a, a little bit of an advantage. But this? This is just ridiculous. They're on two health. They're going to kill themselves on accident. Yeah, this is a... Th Wait, no, 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 never mind, never mind. This person's not hacking. This person is not hacking at all. They, they're from the future and they watched this video and they set their FOV to 80 and they just became amazing at the game. That, that, that's what actually happened. Okay, they're not cheating at all. They just, they just, you know, they just turned their FOV down. This is so sad. Hey, Google. Play non-copyrighted Despacito. Oh crap, okay, uh, my Google's actually, no, no, phone, stop playing the song, stop playing the song. Anyway, so I was saying that I was going to keep the FOV in 80, because I think that it might be a good idea. Who am I fighting? Oh no. 
Oh, please, no. No. I've played against this player before. And this is... This battle might get sweaty. I'm not sure yet. I can't afford to fall here. Wait, they haven't... Wait, what? Wait a minute. Wait, no. Please, please, please. Wait, I might, I might actually have this. That's actually so good. That's so good. So what what happened is that I've I've played against O Angel before, and I know that they were very good. They they wiped out a team of children. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yikes! Oh wow. That was that was scary for me. I think I think that was the biggest threat of the whole game for me. You can really appreciate two PvP sweats just doing that. Okay, diagonal bridging. It's it's a whole new world. I'm I think I'm gonna keep this FOV, like permanently. Another reason why I wanted to look at different FOVs is that I got a little bit of um what's the word? I, I got some I got some questions on on one of my videos. Of people going like, well, that one. Okay. And they were like, well, that one guy, what what ridiculous FOV is that? You're giving me a headache. And I'm like, it's it's Quake Pro. And they're like, that looks disgusting. How do you even play like that? And then I realized I'm only I'm only able to play at Quake Pro because I've been doing it for so long. But like I said before, I'm a very adaptive player. So I'm pretty much already used to this FOV now. It's like whatever for me. Wait, there's already a bridge over there. Get some diamonds on the way. Um, who's who's diagonal yellow? I think it's No, they're not they're not bridging anyway. I'm safe. And grey just got killed by red, which means I'm clean to go take out Redbird. See, this is the big brain bedwalls place. See, all I had to do was turn my FOV down. And now I can bridge a bit well, a little bit. And yeah. Oh, I did not expect that to happen at all, but did, did it matter? Not really. Hello. And that's another win for me. Uh, great team. I should be able to take them out if I have some stuff. One golden apple should do the trick for me today. I bought TNT because, no. TNT's, TNT's actually good. I might do a video on it. At this point, I just talk about random Minecraft things and, and yeah. People watch it for whatever reason. Just ignore my existence. I don't exist. Okay. I don't exist. Wait, no. That's like how other people act around me. Uh, don't do that. I do exist. I'm right here. Notice me. But don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. There you go. Thank you. So I hope turning it down helps in terms of YouTube as well. I think I like it. It makes me feel more confident with bridging. I mean, I haven't fallen while bridging today. Like that never happens during a video. Wait, is this it? Is this the cure to my Sammy Green disease? This this might be it. The cure to Sammy Green disease. I'm I'm cured. Aqua's not playing smart. They could they could rush me through through yellow. Are they just hungry for finals? Because I'm hungry for finals. Alright, I need some more blocks. I think I can probably afford a fireball. If I want to. I could do some more cool fireball stuff. Like you did last time, you know? <laughs> um, put one right there. That'll, that'll scare them. They'll feel, they'll feel, uh, terrified of me now. Right? Yeah. Hopefully they don't run across their bridge. If they, if they, if they see me here, I'm dead. Wait. What are they doing? They're ditching their bed? Why would they ditch their bed? Aqua team. Why? You had so much to live for. See, the cool thing about having a bed is that instead of chasing someone across the entire map, you can always just, you know, just just void. See, now they're over there, and now I'm pretty close to them. But this is my little random tip. This is nothing to do with the FOV anymore. I think we've, I think we've gone past that point. Is that just? Okay, the tip actually disappeared from my brain. Okay, I remember now. I remember now. 
Basically, always try and keep the enemy at a distance. And I don't mean that like, you know, you, oh yeah, you gotta have your four, 4,000 blocks of reach. I mean that in the sense of just... Oh, that was easy. I just mean that don't wait for the enemy to come to you because I went to red. So even if I died there, I still would have had a good shot. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a lag. That's a laggy toy stick. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I'm actually really proud of how I played today and the things I pulled off. So that's pretty cool. 80 is going to be my new FOV for the next couple of videos, I think, and streams. I don't know. What do you think? What sort of FOV do you personally use and why? And why do you dislike high FOVs and why do you dislike low FOVs? You know, tell, tell me tell me in the comment section below. If you, any more idea, if you have any more ideas for videos, feel free to tell me. Other than that, thank you for watching and I hope to see another video. Goodbye.